Hi, I'm Donald Northcross, founder, president, and CEO of the National OK Program. The mission of the program is uh, to facilitate partnerships between police agencies, educational institutions, students, community members, businesses, and the faith community to provide needed services to youth who are at risk of becoming incarcerated or homicide victims with an intense focus on African American males to promote economic self-reliance and to encourage responsible citizenship and civic leaders for the 21st century and beyond. The officer is responsible for monitoring the students' academic and social progress on the campus and letting his teammate know. Um, again, the second one says the officer checks his uh, uh, his box on a daily basis for communication forms and it's important for that officer to address that form in a timely manner and get back to that teacher and let him know how, what happened as a result of her putting the form right, in his box and what that does that creates that uh, that continued communication that teacher will tell another teacher uh, how the program works and how important it is how effective it is and so all the teachers communicate with the officer now how the boys are doing and that way we can catch the board before they fall through the cracks because oftentimes these boys fail in school before anybody ever knows uh, but in the OK program, before they fail or before they get to the point where they're ready to kick them out of school, then we know uh, that that situation is, 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 is occurring and give us a chance to get on top of it. You know how you get them books uh -huh. and hook up the way. I'm already doing that. He's going to say, son, don't make me call um, principal on you. I ain't saying I ain't even doing nothing yet. Take care of your business. So that's what I want you to focus on. So don't, don't focus on getting upset and the fact that he don't like me. We're not worried, but we're not concerned ourselves with that, okay? Oh, you, you're here to learn something. He's going to give you that. Anything, else, anything outside of that, I got your back. But you got to do your part in what I ask you to do first, okay? We, we, we got an agreement? Yeah. I'm proud of you, man. I, I, want, I, want, I wanted them to meet you because you're the man. You know that? Huh? Chance, yeah. what you got going on? Oh. What, 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 are you, are you got a ride home? The bus coming? It's 1148? He leaves. Oh, it's not leaving. Okay. Are you at lunch? No. Okay. Chance, what's going on? Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm proud of you, man. You got okay? Keep it up. I want to go to another one. High five. He also monitors the study hall sessions once a week and uh, he participates in every, in fact he leads every kicking session on Saturday. We have a kicking session every Saturday during the school year. In the summertime the officer takes off on Saturdays and do things with his family and other things that he likes to do on Saturdays basically. But during the school year we have uh, anywhere from 33 to 35 kicking sessions. We uh, exclude holidays. We don't have the kicking session during the holidays. But any other time during the school year we do meet with the board on Saturdays and have our kicking session. People often ask me, well, why does the officer have to be an African-American male? Why does the teammates have to be African-American males? And I simply tell them because it's our responsibility, and this is a program that gives us an opportunity to take that responsibility on and uh, to address this particular issue. So, uh, what are we going to do there, y'all? We're going to conduct ourselves like OK boys do. We're going to show up, we're going to show up, we're going to show them what OK program is all about. Guys. I was in a lot of trouble. I stopped getting in all this kind of trouble. Um, I used to do stupid stuff. Leave the house at night. Don't come back till about 12 o'clock. And now, you know, Saturday, I'll probably go over a friend's house. Won't come back home. But I mean, now, I go to the OK program. Charlie Davis, we there. We play basketball and all that. We go back home. Well, this is part of the community uh, outreach with, with my boys. You know, uh, a lot of times since I'm in the community all the time, I like to do more than just sit on, on, on in bleachers and talk to these boys about different things. I like to be active with them. Let them know the importance of exercise and actually dialogue and just being together. I like to uh, liken it to being a, a brotherhood. You know, us getting together and not just hanging out in the gym uh, inside, sitting down talking, but kind of hanging out in the community. Let them see me in the community and know that uh, I take ownership in the community and I encourage them to do the same thing. In fact, this is a, a neighborhood park. They live around here. I want them to know that I'm here. I don't mind coming in that area in that parks and playing and hanging out with them, kicking it with them, if you will. It keeps kids from off the street on Saturdays. And, um, I mean, you come to Dunbar, or you come here, we shoot hoops, they feed you, we have fun. So you like it? Yes, sir. I'm raising up. I got 2.5. Do you have to cross the board? Yes, sir. Yeah? Oh, you, well, you, going, you going to line with us? Yeah. That's, that's a crazy. That start on July 6th. Yeah, that's crazy. You want to get out of here? Yes. That I bought the photos for? Mm-hmm. And so what happened at the bottom? Oh, was that bad luck to you? Nah, it was... Okay. Mm -hmm. And this is the only place you got to go to summer school for? 
Mm-hmm. This, this, this one? Mm-hmm. With your other class, what are your other grades? Uh, I don't know about physical science. That's the only one. They said physical science, I might, uh, like, I have to take it for, like, nine weeks next year. So the best thing we can do is get these boys in order, teach them how to be respectful, how to work hard, and that will benefit our entire family. Because quite frankly, as I explained to her, I have two daughters of my own, and I'm really concerned about the quality young men that they're going to bring home. So I feel like the best thing that we can do for our young girls and for our community uh, in general is to uh, raise a group of young boys who understand the importance of being a, a strong man. So after I explained that to her, she understood that this program was, in fact, uh, for young girls as well. Young girls benefited from it as well as our entire community. Yeah, faith is that's, that's another crucial part. Now, our idea is this. You know, while we go into the churches and we recruit uh, positive brothers uh, and men's ministries and businesses, but our idea is, you know, we want the kids to see that we are God-free men and that we live that life. You know, it's, it's important for them to go and sit on the church pew and actually get something. But for them to actually see me living a certain way, we, they're not coming out seeing guys cursing, drinking beer loud and doing things they shouldn't be doing. So we like to show those guys that we walk their walk as opposed to talking the talk so they can get a chance to actually see that. Business community, man, wow, that's another awesome piece to this, to this, to this program because we encourage business to, to come out and see what we're doing with, with the boys. We also encourage them to support it. Now, they can support it by feeding the boys. Every Saturday we feed them. And that, that obviously, it comes with cost. But so we get business to buy into it. And so they may agree to feed the boys maybe two Saturdays out of a year. And so we've had some business like K-Hall, uh, Uncle T's, Sims Barbecue. They've been real crucial in, in uh, helping us with the boys in terms of, of providing meals, providing items with us that we would normally have to pay cost for, and we don't. And so they believe in the program and they support it 100%. We're changing lives uh, with the hopes of when we change the kids' mindset about how they do things, uh, then I think that saving part comes second because we teach the kids how to actually work through problems as opposed to using the fist, stick, knife, or gun. When they can actually talk things out as opposed to lashing out because that's one of the things that separates us from animals, our ability to communicate. I tell our, I talk to our boys about the fact you can talk. You don't have to lash out. You don't have to hit. You don't have to strike. But we can actually talk. Now that you've seen the OK program in action, it's time for you to take action. African American men, we're asking you to join the National African American Male Mentor Initiative, whose goal it is to enlist 100,000 black men over the next 10 years to mentor black boys. If you're someone who would like to support the program, or if you're just interested in bringing it to your community, our contact information is on the screen. You can contact us also. I look forward to hearing from you soon.